Hi everyone, I am Nitej and welcome to this tutorial where we are going to build a dynamic robots.txt file in a Next.js application. So we are going to explore two different approaches to generate the robots.txt file. One is using build time creation and the other through dynamic server side rendering. By the end of this tutorial, you will have a solid understanding of both methods and when to use each one for which use case. Okay, so this is Visual Studio Code with a boilerplate Next.js application already set up. To start with the build time creation of robots.txt file, I will first create a new folder in the root, which is going to be called as build and then utilities. So let's create a new file and let's call it generate robots.js. So in this file, first we need to import the file system and path dependencies so i'm just gonna do that let me close this explorer and now i am going to create a new function to generate the robots.txt file so function generate robots and then first we will need the robots file content so const robots content equals to now the whole point of generating robots.txt file either at the build time or dynamically from the server is to add dynamic content or data driven content in the robots.txt file if you don't have that requirement then it is just better to place a static robots.txt file in your public folder for this example i am just going to set two rules the first one is for the user agents where everything is allowed and the second one is to disallow the bots to visit this secret page now when we have the robots content then we can simply use fs.write file sync function to write to the disk the robots.txt file in the public folder with this content and finally we just need to call the generate robots function when this module is going to be used next we need to use our generate robots.js in the package.json for the pre-built command so what this will do is this will make sure that before the build command is run then first our robots.txt will be generated using the logic that we have just written in generate robots.js file so for the pre-build i am just going to write the command which is node and then the folder name which is build utilities and then the name of the file which is generate robots.js save it and then open up the terminal now i will run the command npm run build so you can see the robots.txt is generated over here with the pre-built command in another terminal run npm run and then dev to host our next application on the local host now let's see if we can access our static robots.txt file which was generated from our pre-built step so robots.txt press enter so this is the content that we have in the javascript file the generate robots.js file which is this one and that is how you can generate a robots file when the application is building so some of the use cases where this approach might be useful is it's ideal for projects where the robots file does not need to change based on the server environment or runtime conditions also the deployment is simple so it's suitable for static hosting platforms that don't support server side logic performance wise since the file is generated at build time it's always served as a static asset which ensures fast response times as compared to generating this file from the server it is also easy to implement especially on platforms where you deploy static builds of your next js application but the cons can be that there is the inflexibility that we cannot change robots.txt content based on users requests or maybe servers state there is also the build dependency so we always require a new build and deployment for any change to be added to the robots.txt file all right now let's move on to the server side dynamic fetching of the robots file and that will be done by creating a new pages root so first i will delete this robots.txt file from the public folder so that there will be no conflicts 
and now in the src folder i will create a new folder with the name pages and in this pages folder i will create a new file with the name robots.txt.js now over here i will utilize the get server side props function so first let me just create the robots component so robots equals to an arrow function which is empty so it's not returning anything and also let's export it as a default module so export default and then robots and now let's create the function for get server side props so export async function get server side props and this is going to accept the argument for the uh, for the response now in this function first i will fetch the same robots content that i added to the generate robots module for build time generation so let's just do that now this time we will not be using file system but we will be writing to the response the robots file content so this can be done by simply setting the header first so response dot set header which is going to be content type and the value is going to be text plain sorry text plain and then we have to write to the response the content so response dot write and then uh, robots content finally we can call response dot end now because this is the get server side props function we need to return the props as well but we don't have any props to return so i will simply return an empty object literal for the props so props is going to be an empty object and that's pretty much everything that we need to do for the server side dynamic generation of robots.txt file on each request so now let's check this one this time i will change the value of secret page to secret page one so that we can see the difference let's save it and the server should already be running and this time we can see our change being reflected in this new robots.txt content so let's discuss some of the use cases of server-side dynamic rendering of robots.txt file so when you need to alter the contents of robots file based on runtime conditions or user roles or maybe server environments then it is a better approach also it is ideal for applications that rely on server-side logic and have dynamic content requirements we can also utilize server-side logic and functionalities such as database queries environment variables or user authentication states some of the disadvantages can be that this method can be complex and it can have a performance overhead we may need to apply some kind of caching which can be difficult to manage so in conclusion the build time creation is ideal for static unchanging environments where performance is a priority for server side dynamic generation it is ideal for dynamic complex environments where robots.txt needs to change based on real time conditions the choice between the two methods depend on the specific requirements of your projects including how often you expect this file to change and the nature of your hosting environment and that's my friends everything about building a dynamic robots.txt in next.js i hope this tutorial was informative and helped you understand the intricacies of handling such files in a server rendered application if you found this video helpful then please consider subscribing for more content like this your support motivates me to create more tutorials that help you in your web development journey thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one